We're here with Corvin. They're about to launch a new model of their wine preservation opener. And basically, it's supposed to let you pour a wine without actually opening the bottle. By piercing a needle straight through the cork, uh, pumping in gas, pouring out the wine, and then it's supposed to be able to just sit there in the bottle as though it's unopened after that. So this new model is uh, called the Model 11, and we're gonna see it pour wine. So it wakes up automatically, and then when you turn it Put it onto the device, it, uh, it turns green to let you know it's good. Then you just push it in and you're ready to pour. Um, and right now it's pumping gas in uh, to displace the wine, which then pours back out. And so you see it's like a slower pour than if you had fully opened it. What's cool is that you can now turn the bottle upside down and it will not actually pour out. It's resealed because the cork is kind of flexible and just closes back in, which is pretty neat. So this is their first connected model, and it has Bluetooth built in. It connects to an iPhone app. It's actually like a bizarrely gorgeous app for like a wine opening device. It's able to tell you if you need to replace different parts of the wine opener. You need to give it a new needle every once in a while. You need to replace the argon gas it uses. If you ever looked up wine preservation techniques, argon is a really common one. And you can buy canisters of argon and pump it into the bottle and then put your own you know, cork back on top. This does it without actually ever really fully removing the cork, which will theoretically preserve it much longer. And the idea is that argon is inert, so it doesn't interact with the wine at all, so you won't have any uh, you know, aging or spoiling effects. It's going to launch in September. This new model is supposed to sell for right under $1,000, which is extremely expensive, obviously. They have cheaper options that are not connected that sell for as cheap as $200 and do basically the same thing. So $1,000 is obviously insanely expensive for a wine opener, especially because they have a $200 model that doesn't have the smart features, but functions exactly the same. Save $800, get the normal version if this seems cool to you. I don't know, I'm glad there's some weird Bluetooth features, but they're not, not that worth that much money. Tastes like wine.